Hey, what's going on? Justin here from Modern Mixing. Just wanted to quickly show you this cool little plugin from Native Instruments. It's called Driver. And um, I stumbled across it. I can't even remember how, but I've uh, been using it for a couple of days, just, you know, testing it out, playing with it. Um, I tried reading the manual to see if I could try to explain all these little features that it has, but I'll be honest, there's some stuff that I still completely don't understand. So um, this is more just to try to show you the plugin and let you know that you can download it for free if you go to the Native Instruments website. Um, and it's a free license, so it's pretty cool. They're giving away for free as, I guess, as like a Christmas kind of, you know, thank you, I guess, or whatever. But, um, but yeah, it's only available to the 31st, and after that, I believe it's like $50 for the license. So I personally think that even if you can't get it for free, it's still worth it. It sounds pretty cool. Um, it's got some interesting stuff. So I've also done a couple of my own little settings here for drums and for some synths and stuff. So I'll... Uh, I'll attach those um, in the in the description below, and then you can download those uh, presets if you want. Um, but anyways, I'll play this. It's a couple of loops that I put together, um, and then I'll play them without the plugins. I just kind of did some whatever settings with it, and I was going for more of a subtle, just using more of a distortion. But you can do some crazy things, so I'll show you what the the craziness is after. But this is without the plugins. Okay, so now I'll bring in I'll bring in the plug in on the drums. I'll leave it off and then I'll switch it on and you'll hear the difference. Okay, so let me show you something. Like the thing that's cool about this plug in what it's doing is it's actually bringing the drums more in your face, but it's not it's not actually increasing the peak volume, so it's just turning up the perceived loudness, which is actually pretty cool. So you'll see the um, the peak meter here, and then I'll turn the plug in on, and you'll see it's not really getting louder. The peaks aren't getting like louder, but the actual sound is getting louder. So it's adding that harmonic distortion that you need to um, to make things sound or perceive them as to be louder. But anyways, I'll show you. Watch it here. Cool, huh? All right, so let's go on to the next one. So I'll leave this distortion on. So I'll go to this. In this case, I use two because it's kind of like, you know, why not? You can use eight if you want, 10, 12, whatever, whatever your DAW lets you do. So I'll play the without it, and then I'll bring the first one in, and then I'll bring the second one in. Turn them off again. Back on. Yeah, so I was going for something a little more subtle, something a little, you know, just to kind of make the things pop a little bit, give them a little bit of interesting character, but I wasn't trying to go overboard, but you can do some pretty crazy stuff. I'll show you uh, what you can do. I'll use the, on the synth. I'll leave the drums playing, but you can see what this will do. Now I'm just flipping through the presets, so.
So yeah, it's many, uh, many possibilities. Um, so, uh, so yeah, go get it. It ends, like I said, December 31st, try it out. Uh, I think it's more geared for producers and trying to shape your sounds or create something interesting or unique. But from a mixing standpoint, I would use it more subtly. Like I said, with the drums, you know, you know, maybe this one was a little bit too much distortion on the drums in this case, but but um, you can see that you can add just little tiny amounts of distortion to it and it'll just make things kind of come alive. So try it out, get it, and uh, take care.